Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another Energy Flows for Pleasure. And this morning, this is a little bit weird. Well, everything that we're doing here is weird and different and odd, isn't it? It's not the usual. So um, rain has forced me indoors once again. The last few days have been rain, rain, rain. So everything here is growing. It's wonderful. So take a deep breath. Pull energy down through your body, out your feet, quick as a flash into the earth. And allow that energy to have the frequency of gold, which has a wonderful vibration that really resonates well with the physical body and with the earth itself. And ask your body to match the vibration of the earth. The earth is a living, breathing, conscious entity, being. So that your being and your body and the earth are in oneness. And have that awareness. Allow yourself to have it. And anything that is to the contrary of that, any energy within you of doubt or whatever it is, allow the energy itself to dissipate that. Pull earth energy up through your body, up and out the top of your head. Expand. Allow yourself to be streaming energy while part of the stream and while still there. Isn't that complex? So that if you pulled energy from way out in front of you to you and through you, you're streaming energy through your body and your being and you're still there, you're still present. If you pull energy from way behind you to you, through you and out the front of you, you're streaming energy. You're pulling it from below, from above, from either side, from all directions. And if you like, and it's not a visualization, these things cannot be defined or seen. But if the sense that you have a central, um, no, I'm not even going to go there because it'll solidify for you. So just allow the energy to stream. You are, you be energy, space and consciousness which has pulled together these wonderful molecules which are part of the earth to create your body. This is your creation. How does it get any better? And today, let us look at anywhere that you are addicted to the pleasure uh, thrill, the pleasure hit from things that are actually not generative for you that do not actually create the future you'd like to have that do not actually contribute to you now this can be varied and it is subtle some of us some of you some of us let's not point any fingers here are actually addicted to uh, problems drama upsets intrigue we get a hit from it it's just like being a dope addict a heroin addict someone who smokes um, it is the same response in the body where you know wow I'm great at this and I'm going to solve this problem or this is what the universe has sent to me so that I may learn and move forward this is what I can apply my tools to all the wonderful tools that I have um, it's a trap <laughs> it's a big trap so everywhere that you are Bravely meeting the challenges, meeting the challenges uh, energetically. You have to ask yourself, am I actually getting a bit of a thrill out of this in a, in a funny way? And what are other thrills could you be having which are actually a contribution to your body? What else is possible? That's all that's required that you ask. Oh, what would I like to create and generate? What would be fun? Or like, what if your problem was you had so much jewellery, you didn't know what to wear each day? And you could maybe gift a beautiful piece of jewellery to someone and go, oh, this diamond ring just wants to be in your finger. And, you know, for example, for example, beautiful things find you. What if the next time you ran a class, there were so many people signing up for the class, you had to say, ah, sorry, I'm going to have to run another class. I've got too many people or excuse me I just have to find a bigger venue for example 
What if there's so much money coming into your bank account that the bank manager rings you and says, what's going on here? <laughs> Would you like to invest some of your money? What if, what if, what if? So, you know, what if all your problems were ones that contribute to you and generate more for you? And would you be willing to go cold turkey? So next time something comes up that seems to be a setback, a problem or something to get over, pot and pocket and go around it. Or ask, what else is possible here that I haven't, I'm not aware of? Ah, what beyond this reality awareness do I have here? Many of your awarenesses will actually be beyond this reality. Okay, play with that. See what you come up with. Talk to you soon. Bye.